when you first install this pump, you'll need to prime it. Ideally, if you can, try and get the fuel line up to the pump full of uh, diesel because the pump is only lubricated by the oil in the diesel. But to do that, you just push these two buttons together. I'm not gonna do it now because mine's already primed. You'll get a H come up on the screen here. And once that's up, you push this button at the top and it will start priming the pump for you. If it gets all the way, you haven't got enough you can do it again to prime it nicely so it is just them two h come up on the screen and this button here and that will prime it for you but like i say try to get as much diesel in it up to the pump as you can because while it's priming the pump is clicking and it will wear on the pump because it is being lubricated by the diesel itself. To turn your diesel heater on, just push that button, get on comes on. Then now the little fan started going and it's putting the diesel through and it's preheating the diesel, which is what your glow plug's for to preheat it. Then as soon as the diesel's hot enough to ignite, you'll get a little pump symbol come up there. And it will uh, start uh, pumping hot air through. There you go, it's ready to ignite. The little pump symbol's coming on. So now it's starting to pump diesel in and heat it. So the fan's starting to blow the air out now just takes a minute or two to uh, get the cold air out obviously out of all the pipes and start pumping hot in when you shut this heater down you just push the middle button for off I'm not going to do it now because I want mine on but it just comes up on off and it goes through a cooling down cycle if you was just to unplug it and stop it, it's likely to overheat and burn your motherboard out and damage it. That's why it has to go through a cooling down process. And um, while it's going off, the glow plug will come back up on here. And that just helps burn off any carbon that may be sitting on the glow plug, just to help it a bit. If you want to turn your heater up or down you just press these buttons it's up it's down i think it goes down to eight that is the lowest and 35 celsius is uh, the maximum now, if you uh, want to program your key fob what comes with this you push and hold this top button so you get HFA come up then just push the off button and that just pairs up straight away so now this is paired with that ready for use if you want to change your heater from Hertz to Celsius just push these two buttons at the same time There you go, Celsius, or the other way around is Hertz. I'm going to have mine on Celsius. To turn your heater up or down, you just use these arrows. It's 13, 14, 15, and that's it really for turning it up and down. To set your clock on your programmer, just push this button here, then it starts flashing so set to whatever time you want let me look it is 13.55 so I've got one okay want to go up 13 okay and 50 okay up 
1355 and okay okay k k and back to the main menu 1355 so quite simple to do but like everything once you know how it's simple if you push this OK button at the bottom here that is telling you what the temperature is in the cabin at the minute if you push it again that is showing you what you've actually got the temperature set at and if you push it again it's telling you the battery voltage 12 volts there and push it again and there you've got E00 comes up what this uh, E00 is it's error codes so as you're pushing it it's telling you there is no error codes because sometimes you might get a 7 come up a 9 a 10 then you can look up the error but just push it again and it's back to where you want it these little lines at the bottom here the blue and yellow red they're just showing you that when you first turn it on it has one little blue bar then it goes up to two and goes into the yellow once it goes right the way up and you've got two red bars it's just showing you that the that the unit is completely up to temperature the two little bits flashing down the bottom here from like blue to red is actually just showing you that you've got fresh air coming in and the air going out the exhaust that's what that's showing you and up here you can't see it now because mine's on in this other little space here was now blank when you switch it on you see the little glow plug come in there and it's just telling you the glow plug is heating the diesel up getting ready to fire up when you first fire this up and your little glow plug is there it's probably using about eight or nine amps but it's for quite a short period of time once you've got the heater actually up and running depending on our what temperature you've got it on it'll run anywhere between five and seven amps it will use so it's quite a short period of time so it's not too bad if you turn this up and down like mine's on 11 if I turn it down eight is its minimum that just means to say it's going to just sit in tick over mode so it's using the least power and obviously putting out the least heat it can and it just ticks over nicely which is plenty for me here in this cabin on the boat I'm just going to switch this to Hertz just to show you something that's 1.7 Hertz if you put that up roughly 2 Hertz you'll get about 36 37 hours out of five liters of diesel so quite cheap to run when you think 35 36 hours for a five liters of diesel which is not too bad back to celsius which i prefer really than the hertz in its uh, cooling down process on this you got the little bars here will slowly go down again and then once it gets to the green it will shut the fan down in the meantime your little pump will go off but it must go through its cooling down cycle otherwise you will just damage your heater some of you may have noticed that there were some different bits when I was doing the timer but that's for the advanced settings if you do want to get to them you just push this button three times and you get this come up with a little lock you have to put your pin in i will do a separate vlog about that otherwise it's going to make this vlog way too long so subscribe now so you don't miss it